सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरां ओ नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकंड चैप्टर पेज सेवेंटी सेवन वर्स नंबर एटी सेवन सवशेष परिच्छेदी अत एव न कृष्ण वित नोचे परिणमते परिणमेदुद्धि सर्वस्वात्मे सुरेश्वराचार्य टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ओरिजिनल कॉन्शियसनेस दट ईज साक्षी चैतन्य एंड अहंकार मै रियल अनरियल व्यावहारिक नेचर when i do an interaction whenever i introduce myself to others i am doing the interaction with a mixture that is uh, oc or original consciousness and rc the reflected consciousness प्रतिबिंब चैतन्य एंड बिंब चैतन्य ओसी इज नोन एज बिंब चैतन्य आरसी आर प्रतिबिंब चैतन्य इज अनदर अनात्मा नेचर प्रतिबिंब चैतन्य बिंब एंड प्रतिबिंब ओसी एंड आरसी साक्षी एंड अहंकार दीज आर ऑल डिफरेंट नेम्स what for this classification of sakshi and ahankara why to talk about their difference since human beings do not know that this mixture they mistake themselves as ahankara the body mind complex that is real since that ahankara body mind complex has got many many defects those defects are also taken as real one soon real swarupam that is like saro tension anxiety worry guilt hurt all these are attributes of the mind since uh, there is a an ignorance about this mixture one takes that ahankara as real and the ahankara based body mind complex all are real and the body defects like um, old age disease happens in the body but the person takes really they belong to oneself which is not true because of associating with these attributes of the body and mind one makes one's life miserable so life is miserable or beautiful is in whose hands it is in whose hands my life is miserable because of so and so person because of so and so object because of so and so situation is that statement is um, wrong statement all human beings when they are suffering what do they say my suffering is because of body my suffering is because of mind my suffering is because of my family members my suffering is because of my neighbors my suffering is because of so and so so and so so on and on 
this is their blunder this is the mistake we commit and suffering life long shastra says you need not suffer you understand who you are you understand there is no suffering at all shastra is there for our rescue why can't we listen sureshwar acharya is asking us understand this ahankara is savasesha pariche parichedini here paricheda means not limitation normally paricheda means we take it as a limitation conditioning but in this context paricheda means knower knowledge is also called paricheda knowledge is also called paricheda why it is called paricheda every knowledge is limited knowledge that is why it is called paricheda paricheda means literal meaning is a limitation so parichedini means that uh, ahankara which has got limited knowledge everyone in the uh, universe have only limited knowledge no human being can have 100% uh, uh, sarvagnyatvam like ishvara so therefore savasesha here means uh, there is something is there that which he doesn't know or she doesn't know avasesha will be there means the reminder of ignorance reminder will be there <laughs> that is called savasesha parichedini see buddhi is uh, ahankara or mind is uh, the knower but it is uh, having a limited knowledge ataha eva therefore parichedini bhavati you can supply ataha eva therefore na krishna vit it cannot be all knower krishna means total total means everything bhagavan is one who is the knower of all everything omniscient therefore sarvagnya bhagavan but the human beings are not uh, krishna vit human being is not a krishna vit that ahankara or one's individual buddhi is not total knower or omniscient so buddhi become a knower how it becomes knower by generating a thought a specific thought a particular thought of that object particular object or a specific object specific knowledge because of specific thought so three are intertwined i get specific knowledge of a specific object how it comes in in the form of specific thought so specific thought number 1 then specific object number 2 and specific knowledge this is uh, happening from morning to till night every day we are getting specific knowledge morning breakfast knowledge specific breakfast <laughs> again lunch knowledge food thought evening dinner food thought that knowledge similarly water milk coffee specific knowledge so remember in every cognition there there are three things every cognition every knowledge every knowledge uh, preceded by the thought thought preceded by the object thought always hold on to one object or other like elephant trunk elephant trunk never uh, stay no without a movement it moves always or holds something or the other so like that mind also buddhi or mind also hold on to one specific object or other then thought arise then that thought is converted into knowledge 
so these are all happening process in a fraction of second without uh, you know, delay <laughs> that is savasesha parichedini ataha eva therefore because of this reason na krishna vitu bhavati buddhi or mind cannot be krishna vitu not total knower not all knower so that is um, pointed out in the first line now second line pariche parinam na parinami buddhi hi na parinami chet suppose you say there is no modification in buddhi buddhi is also steady form like consciousness sakshi chaitanyam without we are seeing the main difference changing one changeless one sakshi chaitanyam is changeless and ahankara is changing or buddhi is changing one the specific knowledge to get of a specific object buddhi has to undergo change modification if modifications are not there suppose modifications are not there after 7 o'clock you have to switch off your phone or whatever ipad or what you are you are using because 7 o'clock purnamadaha is over means there is some change in your mind oh swamini has completed purnamadaha said that means class is over let me switch off let me uh, come out of the zoom class all these modifications are happening if they don't happen you sit same way in front of that now it is a problem na parinamaychet buddhi suppose it is not changing hypothetical argument let us take suppose it is not changing mind is same always what will happen sarvagna bhavet swatmavat that mind also would have become would have become sarvagna all over like what atmavat like sakshi chaitanyam or like brahman like brahman buddhi also would have become sarvagna but every one of us no we are not sarvagna we are having lot of ignorance about so many subjects therefore we are not sarvagna we do not know totally aparinami chet atma is um, not parinami ahankara is parinami if man, mind also is aparinami atmavat it become it would have become sarvagnya simple shloka you can understand this so this sakshi chaitanyam what is the proof i the sakshi chaitanyam am sarvagnya all knower all knowledge i am the witnesser of every knowledge in every cognition of every being every human being every living being that is um, that is called pratyaksham savikalpaka pratyaksham nirvikalpaka pratyaksham it is evident these are all called so savasesha means savikalpakam there are vikalpas are there in every object one object excludes the other vikalpa is there savikalpakam pratyaksham i the sakshi chaitanyam am self evident nirvikalpaka pratyaksham there are no changes in me i am nirvikalpaka pratyaksham sakshi chaitanyam mind is savikalpaka pratyaksham and it sees all objects all are savikalpakam up to here we saw in the last class now we will go to the next verse introduction verse number 88 ato ato vagate ekatvat chandal buddhire yadrashtru tadeva brahma buddhi druk ekam tadubhayor jyotihi bhasya vedadane kavat 
I think I have changed the tune, sloka tune. Okay. Ataha, therefore. Therefore means wherefore. Since uh, buddhi is changing, it is not uh, all over, it is not sarvagnaha, it is only alpagnaha. Therefore, whereas atma chaitanyam, sakshi chaitanyam is sarvagnaha, knower of everything. Ataha. Ataha. Avagatehe ekatva. Avagatehe means sakshi chaitanyam. I, the Atma, in all, pervading in all as one. Ekatva. Since I am one, there are not many sakshi chaitanyams. All kuru sakshi chaitanyam we should not say. One one person is having one one sakshi chaitanyam. No. Everyone's sakshi chaitanyam is the same. Ekatva. Of whom avagati he. Of that chaitanya consciousness. We have Shastra Pramanam. What is the proof? Sakshi chaitanya is only one. It is not many enough. Shastra alone is proof. Pramanam for us. Shastra alone proves that not any means otherwise. We have to take um, Shweta Shwetra Upanishad. Sakshi Cheta Kevalo Nirgunascha. One correction is there in the sloka before reading that. Please correct it. Chandala Buddhir Yadrashtru. Dra it should be. It should not double the but dra. Not dr but dra. Drashtru. I read the shloka. So in this shloka, Sureshwaracharya giving the conclusion. In this verse, what is the conclusion? Atma is one, or Sakshi Chaitanyam is one, or you have to say, I the Sakshi Chaitanyam am one in everybody, in everybody. Ekatva. This is one of the future of Atma. We saw in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita itself. Now I read the shloka 88. Chanda. We have not read, I think. Okay. Chanda. Okay, I have read. No different tune I have read. Okay. Chanda. Now take it to Drashtra. Drashtra. Buddhehe. Buddhehe. Yatu drashtr. Yatu drashtr. The one who is the witnesser. Who is the witnesser of whom? Chandala buddhehe. Witnesser of the mind of that chandala. Chandala means who is chandala? A person of uh, um, low um, cat character low character uh, doing mean things all chandalaha so vesti drishtya that buddhi not educated uh, not having a refined mind not having any subtle mind not having any knowledge not having any education so he is uh, just uh, eating sleeping working something doing so chandalaha so that is panchamaha in Manisha Panchakam Chanda Lostu Satud Vijost Acharya said Chandalaha means a Shudraha, a Shudra who is doing all meager works. That Chandalaha. His Buddhi is also one Sakshi Chaitanyam alone. Drashtra is one only. Tadeva Brahma Buddhi Druku. That Sakshi Chaitanyam alone. Which is Sakshi Chaitanyam is witnessing the mind of that thoughts of that Chandala. Same Sakshi Chaitanyam Tadeva Druk. That Atma Chaitanyam alone. Brahma Buddhi Druk. Brahma means here Hiranyagarbha. Brahma Ji. Chitrumukha Brahma. So Brahma has got uh, 
um, three meanings brahma can be called as veda brahma can be called as nirguna brahman brahma can be called as hiranya garbha or samashti manaha total mind that is another meaning or one more meaning also brahma means omkara that is also another meaning so here we have to take uh, chaturmukha brahma or hiranya garbha who is samashti buddhi total intellect hiranya garbha brahma buddhi drik tadeva brahma buddhi drik the witnesser of that brahma this mind brahma this mind so refined so subtle so knowledgeable so educ- you know enlightened so much of knowledge is there in that brahma compared to chandala so brahma is samashti manah uttama janma uttama everything uttama chandala body level mind level adhama upadhi level hiranya garbha is superior mind level superior buddhi level superior superiority inferiority are there at body mind level upadhi level but uh, the witnesser the sakshi chaitanyam of brahma ji and sakshi chaitanyam of chandala who is witnessing that chandala's mind and brahma ji's mind that druk drashta is one and the same tadeva there is no difference simple only you can understand very easily so brahmana ha the another meaning also is that brahma means brahmana we can take brahmana also in this context but you cannot take nirguna brahma or omkara or veda but you can take brahma means brahmana ha so five meanings are there brahma means that is why guru is required contextual meaning you have to take otherwise you will end up in confusion what is the contextual meaning even though brahma has got five meanings brahm veda nirgunam brahma omkara brahmana hiranya garbha in this context two con- meanings you can take contextual meaning brahma means brahmana ha chandala brahmana kshatriya vaisya shudra sarde so brahmana means who is a pandita who is a mind refined person who is having shuddhi lot of purity is there chandala is no no purity at body level so brahmana is having lot of purity mind level there is no subtlety to um, who to chandala but there is a subtlety in brahmana therefore that is the difference brahma buddhi druk brahma buddhi druk tadeva tadeva is important here tadeva means atma chaitanyam is one and the same tadeva um, yat drashtr chandala buddhe tadeva brahma buddhi druk that is the meaning now second line ekam tad ubhayoho ekam jyotihi tad ubhayoho ekam jyotihi one consciousness jyotihi means here not light jyotihi means self evident consciousness all pervasive self evident consciousness jyotihi the illuminator the illuminator of the mind the illuminator of uh, the ara ahankara ekam tad ubhayoho jyotihi ekam jyotihi tad ubhayoho tad ubhayoho means what chandala and brahma chandala buddhi and brahma buddhi tad ubhayoho jyotihi bhasya bheda bhasya bheda bhasya means here buddhi bhasya means buddhi buddhi bheda ha anekavat buddhi bhedam is there sakshi bhedam is not there witnesser bhedam is not there there is buddhi bhedam 
ब्रह्म बुद्धि इज समि बुद्धि टोटल माइंड ये चंडाल बुद्धि इज वेस्टी माइंड एग्जाम्पल फॉर वेस्टी माइंड इंडिविजुअल माइंड ब्रह्मा जी इज द टोटल माइंड हिरण्य गर्भ चतुर्मुख ब्रह्म सो अनेक अनेकवत भेदा अनेकवत भेदा भेदात भेदात इज पंचमे द रीजन कॉज अनेकवत भाति अनेकवत भाति मीन्स एज दो अपियर्स मेनी साक्षी चैतन्य में ऑल्सो एज दो मेनी बट रियली स्पीकिंग साक्षी चैतन्य में इज वन इट अपियर्स एज मेनी जस्ट लाइक इन दक्षिणामूर्ति स्त्रोत्र वन लाइट देर ईज ए पॉट covered inside there is a light and the pot has got holes and from all holes the light comes out nana chidra ghato dara sthita maha deepa prabha bhaswaram jnanam yasya tu chakshura adikarana dwara bahi spandate so every buddhi is different 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 bhedat anekavat buddhi भाष्य भाष्य अनेकवत भाति इट अपियर्स एज मेनी एज साक्षी चैतन्य अपियर्स एज मेनी बट रियली स्पीकिंग इट इज ओनली वन बट दि सम पीपल सांख्या योग न्याय वैशेषिक पूर्व मीमांसा राजाचार्य ऑल ऑफ दम दे टेक देर आर् मेनी चैतन्य जीवात्मा सर् मेनी so many jeevatmas are there one paramatma there are separate from all jeevatmas that is why they are all different all the systems of philosophies they don't accept one sakshi chaitanya all kor atma one one person is having one one atma what we say ekaha one atma the sakshi chaitanyam But they say they are separate. That is their uh, view. We don't accept that. Only Advaitin says only one Sakshi Chaitanya Atma is there. So the all pervasive. By this, what we know in a very one, the illuminator of that uh, Chandala mind and Brahma Ji mind, Samasti mind, that means. All minds you included, some samasti mind, chandala mind or brahmana mind, brahmana mind or brahmana ha, brahma ji's mind, samasti mind. If you take brahma ji's mind, na samasti mana ha. If you take brahmana, inferior mind, chandala ha, superior mind, brahmana ha. Because brahmana's thinking is so high, so subtle. and so much of purity is there in that mental mind thinking and all so the chandala is not having so the purity and impurity knowledge and ignorance that difference you can take when you take the brahmana varna if you take brahma ji hiranya garbha it is samasti mana that meaning you have to take in a brahmana cannot come under samasti mana that is uh, possibility is there because i given two meanings brahmana does not come under samasti mana so brahmana chandala comparison how purity brahmana purity and chandala is impurity body level mind level also mind level means what always him they do lot of evil actions you know not pure actions that way is that way we have to take therefore by this what we come to arrive at an all pervasiveness we arrive at sakshi chaitanya means all pervasive sarvagataha in the above mentioned shloka atma is sarvagnyah sakshi chaitanya means sarvagnyah in this shloka atma is sarvagataha all pervasiveness is um presented here
ekam tadubhayo ho jyotihi so all pervasiveness we have to take that is the atman nature so here every experience every experience whenever you say every experience is anatma every experience all pervasiveness is uh, uh, not a matter of uh, experiencing how to experience all pervasive sakshi chaitanya how do i know what is the proof that uh, that person also having same sakshi chaitanya this person is also having same sakshi chaitanya how to experience it suppose you ask like that once we say it is all pervasive how do i know huh? it is all pervasive how can you prove that and all pervasiveness you cannot experience at any time all pervasiveness of sakshi chaitanya you cannot experience never try to experience that all pervasiveness all pervasiveness you cannot explain you cannot experience therefore you cannot explain all pervasiveness then what why shastra is telling like this all pervasive sarvagataha sarvagataha na when i am not able to experience how can i accept it you have to accept only by understanding cognitive level at a cognitive level by understanding you have to and know that uh, it is ekaha it is not a um, subject matter of experiencing it is not a matter of experiencing what uh, sarve pa uh, sarvagatatvam sarvagatatvam if space is uh, all pervading how do you know are you seeing the space akasha is all pervading or not all pervading are you experiencing the akasha it doesn't have any rupam how can you experience it is all pervading because everything it is accommodating avakasha pradatratvat sarvagataha akashaha even though you are not seeing you are not experiencing can you catch hold of the akasha can you smell the akasha can you see the akasha you cannot experience the akasha even though it has got shabda guna you cannot see the akasha are you experiencing akasha or not how do you know i am not experiencing swami so many objects in your house akasha is accommodating in your house it is accommodating my house it is accommodating in every house akasha is accommodating so many objects so many people the entire universe you know nama roopa prapancha everything is accommodated by akasha this is the nearest closest example for sarvagataha that is why akasha is the nearest example prakasha and akasha both are nearest example for atma akasha is sarvagataha atma is sarvagataha akasha is Uh, akhandaha indivisible atma is also akhandaha you cannot uh, uh, cut that which is uh, not having any form a formless one is not cuttable <laughs> you cannot cut it na chedyaha akhandaha sarvagataha akashaha akhandaha akasha akasha itself is sarvagataha akhandaha what to talk of atma which akasha is in atma chaitanya atma chaitanya is accommodating akasha also which is sarvagataha that means akasha must be <laughs> smaller than atma chaitanya correct uh, these are all uh, corollaries you can see cognitively you have to understand experience means limitation always understand you experience it na perceptually it is limitation ityarthah atma is limitless anantah aparam 
how can you take experience um, next to us so atma sarvagnaha established sakshi chaitanyam i the atma i am sarvagataha also established now next verse kasmat avastha desha kaladi bhedo nastya nayor yatah tasma jagadhiyam vrittam jyotirekam tadekshate anayo ho what is the proof for all pervasiveness na all pervasiveness uh, is um, uh, experiencing all pervading consciousness is untenable experiencing all pervading consciousness is untenable na you are the all pervading consciousness shastra says you are the all pervading consciousness you can experience everything but you cannot experience yourself like uh, you can dial all phone numbers you can dial all phone numbers you cannot dial your own phone number so when i am dialing my own phone number suppose you have landline and mobile from mobile you can <laughs> call your own landline but mobile number is different Hmm? you are smart i am smarter than you okay some landline you are having that is also your phone mobile also you are having you can call your own phone number and uh, that is not same number mobile number is different landline number is different so same number you cannot dial correct your own mobile number you cannot dial your own landline number you cannot dial like that here also you the sakshi chaitanyam all pervading sakshi chaitanyam in every body in every body you need not experience it is evident for you for that what i say every time now you never doubt your existence you never doubt nan irkena illaya நான் இருக்கேனா இல்லையான்னு டவுட்டே பண்ண மாட்டோம் சிமிலர்லி அதர் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ அதர் பர்சன் ஆல்சோ நெவர் டவுட் ஸோ எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் செல்ஃப் எவிடென்ட் டு ஒன் செல்ஃப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் செல்ஃப் எவிடென்ட் டு ஒன் செல்ஃப் தட் மீன்ஸ் தட் செல்ஃப் எவிடென்ட் டு ஒன் இஸ் ஹூ சாக்ஷி சைத்தன்யம் இன் தட் சாக்ஷி சைத்தன்யம் திஸ் சாக்ஷி சைத்தன்யம் இட் இஸ் நோ டிஃபரன்ஸ் ஜீவ ஆத்மா ஜ ஜீவத்வம் பிலாங் டு த பாடி மைண்ட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் பாகத் லிமு தியாகம் பண்ணு வாட் பாகா யூ ஹாவ் டு டேக் ஆத்ம பாகா யூ ஹாவ் டு டேக் தேட் பர்சன் ஆத்மா மை ஆத்மா மோத் ஆர் ஒன் அண்ட் த சேம் வென் குரு சேஸ் தட் ஆத்மா திஸ் ஆத்மா மோத் ஆர் ஒன் அண்ட் அண்ணா தி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஜூனியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் சீனியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஓன்ட் திங்க் ஜூனியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திங்க் வாட் Uh, they will think from hankara standpoint they think from they take it from the hankara standpoint apo tagarara nartham there is a problem if you take from ahankara standpoint it is not jal hankara standpoint if i am i say so mixture you are combining ahankara also therefore i am one in all i am not small i am all this is that's a cognitive level lille nan experience pannano i want to experience it i want to some get uh, uh, anubhava that is why consciousness supra consciousness uh, you know that nirvikalpaka samadhi supra conscious subconscious people talk supra supra consciousness all our experiences only that is not consciousness that is only pratibimba chaitanya not bimba chaitanya that is why there is no question of supra consciousness okay turiyatma turiyatitatma hmm? atita turiyatita and nothing is there 
even that is why in one of my classes i said turiyam name also is not uh, correct we don't accept just for teaching purpose we use the word turiyam for atma atma is nama rahitam atma doesn't have any name at all who are you and i am turiya atma na hey you are not turiya atma at all from the standpoint of pradham pada dvitiya pada tritiya pada you are chaturdha that is why turiya pada if you there are all three of them are false karya karanam full of false and mithya where is you are turiya status fourth state <laughs> fourth status fourth one na nan no even sakshi is also as long as sakshyam is there i am sakshi there is something to witness i am known as i the atma i am known as sakshi really speaking am i sakshi really speaking i am not even sakshi also then what samani mauna vyakhya pesade chumma irandi sukham peru anna adike da don't uh, enamored by these names turi atma i am brahman i am turi atma i am the bhuma i am uh, sat all these names and all real senior students uh, hmm? gnanis uttama adhikaris all names they keep aside never carried away by any name i am i am that's all no nothing uh, all the turiya sakshi all these are only for teaching purpose actually we should not say all this some junior students also will be there in the class there is a problem therefore um, maximum time teachers uh, hide the key message hmm? the uh, teachers uh, they hide the message because st- uh, junior students na uh, those who come newly not listening systematically not uh, committed in the learning once they hear they always take as a hankara only teacher shastra talking from the sakshi standpoint aha uh, ham brahma standpoint lakshardha standpoint but uh, junior student taking from a hankara standpoint enna problem theriyuma nariya problems varu adukinda consistent study is required listening is required how many students are having that uh, commitment towards shastra tadeva chintanam tat chintanam tat kathanam anyonyat tat prabodhanam that is uh, very very important i am not hiding anything <laughs> so as though it is hiding na hiding in the sense um, uh, even though teacher talking shastra hide from that junior person and no readiness no readiness patratvam is not there there is no patratta as long as you are not deserve for that knowledge the refinement of the mind has not come suppose deha abhimana has not gone all wrong in, in wrong uh, misconceptions have not gone from the mind shastra has to uh, be only behind the curtain shastra cannot unfold to that person therefore to make shastra to be unfold by the by guru or shastra uh, dwara guru can unfold when you are qualified guru also helpless even bhagwan is helpless bhagwan cannot do anything that is why don't think that it is very easy if i study all the texts i can understand no impossible then what na systematic consistent dedication commitment interest all this must be there continuous thinking dwelling upon the teaching of the guru that alone will help that person even bhagwan also cannot help okay avastha bhedah anayoho anayoho means um, of these two of these two means um, 
that above said example you can take chandala buddhi and brahmana buddhi or brahmaji buddhi anayoho anayoho avastha bheda kaladi bhedaha nasti anayoho means in that buddhi there is a bheda but sakshi chetan you mean both of them anayoho अतः चैतन्य इन चंडाला एंड ब्राह्मण दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अनयो अनयो ऑफ दोज टू चंडाला एंड ब्राह्मण अनयो यनयो अवस्था देश कालादि भेद नास्ति अनयो साक्षी चैतन्यो ओके चंडाल साक्षी चैतन्य एंड ब्रह्माजी साक्षी चैतन्य और ब्राह्मण साक्षी चैतन्य अनयो चैतन्य भेद नास्ति अवस्था देश कालादि भेद नास्ति वेर इज नास्ति नास्त्यनयो इज देर नास्ति प्लस अनयो नास्त्यनयो अनयो यनयो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू बुद्धि स्विच आर रिवील्ड बै इल्यूमेंड बै साक्षी चैतन्य इन दट साक्षी चैतन्य देर इज नो अवस्था भेद अवस्था जग्रत अवस्था स्वप्नावस्था सुषुप्ति अवस्था भेद इज नाट देर एंड देश भेद आलो इज नाट देर अवस्था मीन हय्यर् स्टेट आफ कॉन्शियने हय्यर् स्टेट आफ कॉन्शियने लोवर स्टेट आफ चंडाला कॉन्शियने इज लोवर स्टेट आफ कॉन्शियने ब्रह्माजी कॉन्शियने इज हय्यर् स्टेट आफ कॉन्शियने नो इट्स नाट देर एंड देश आलो देश परछेद आलो नाट देर इन एव्री वन साक्षी चैतन्य सेम इन एव्री प्लेस काल टाइम वैज डिविशन आलो इज नाट देर when you are young when you are old also there is sakshi chaitanyam there is no change there is a body level change kala bheda is there yesterday today and day for, after tomorrow like that there is a kala bheda in the body body is growing cells are changing in the body but sakshi chaitanyam there is no change in both of them तस्मा देर फोर जगत धिया वृत्त तस्मा देर फोर जगत धिया दि होल एंटर् यूनिवर्स धिया वृत्त दि एक्टिविटी वृत्त मीन व्यापार व्यापार ऑफ द मैं धिया वृत्त ज्योति एक ज्योति सदा ईक्षते वन कॉन्शियने एक ज्योति वन कॉन्शियने सदा ऑल द टाइम ईक्षते विटनेसिंग विटनेसिंग वाट ऑल इंटलेक्ट्स ऑल बुद्धि वन साक्षी चैतन्य विटनेसिंग ऑल ऑल वाट buddhis your buddhi and also i the sakshi chaitanya am only witnessing my buddhi also you the sakshi chaitanya am only witnessing so you the sakshi chaitanya am i the sakshi chaitanya rendu irka rendu kadiya electricity in your house my house two electricities are there uh, swamini's house uh, electricity illumining the bulb is different माई हाउस इल्यूमिंग एलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज डिफरेंट कैन यू से दैट टेक द बल्ब एज बुद्धि इन युअर हाउस बल्ब इज देर मई हाउस आलो बल्ब इज देर इन युअर हाउस आलो एलेक्ट्रिसिटी इल्यूमिंग द बल्ब मई हाउस आलो एलेक्ट्रिसिटी इल्यूमिंग द बल्ब टू बल्ब आर देर युअर बल्ब इज डिफरेंट मई बल्ब इज डिफरेंट मे बी वाट्स आलो डिफरेंट हंड्रेड वाट्स फिफ्टी वाट्स टू हंड्रेड वाट्स मे बी डिफरेंट Bulb level difference, but electricity is different. 
कैन यू से स्वामी हाउ मेनी हाउसेस आर देयर सपोज हियर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर एंड ऑल ऑफ योर हाउसेस डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटीज आर देयर टेल मी नाउ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज वन बट बल्ब सर बल्ब लाइक बुद्धि सर डिफरेंट सो ऑल ऑफ अस रियली आवर नेचर इज वन कम ऑन टेल मी ऑल ऑफ आवर नेचर रियली वन दैट इज एकम ज्योति एकम ज्योति वन ज्योति इल्यूमिनेटर यू आर इल्यूमिनिंग माय बुद्धि आई एम इल्यूमिनिंग योर बुद्धि आई यू from sakshi chaitanyam at we are use i and u is there in sakshi chaitanyam there is no i and u <laughs> correct i and u belongs to the body i am a teacher you are the student okay student i is different teacher i is different from ahankara level but jyoti level ekam jyoti level witness sir my mind is witnessed by different consciousness swamini's mind is witnessed by different consciousness that is ore electricity like consciousness okay that is that jyoti hi ekam jyoti hi sada ikshate all the time all the time it is witnessing sada ikshate so the lack of ex- experience cannot be the proof for lack of existence adike da uh, you have to go uh, beyond sense perception going beyond sense perception anna en manasana manute ena hur manomatam through mind you cannot know through mind you can know two places cut open shit it comes manasai vedam aptavyam ఇది ఎన్న కాంట్రడిక్టరీ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ అన్నా యూ కెన్ నాట్ నో త్రూ ద మైండ్ యూ కెన్ నో నో ఓన్లీ త్రూ ద మైండ్ ఎప్పుడు ఎప్పుడు చూడలేదు ఆ మా శాస్త్రం అన్నా హౌ టు ఇంటర్ప్రెట్ దట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ కాంట్రడిక్టరీ స్టేట్మెంట్ యూ కెన్ నాట్ నో ది ఆత్మ చైతన్యం విత్ ఎన్ అన్రిఫైన్డ్ మైండ్ ఐ కెన్ నాట్ నో ది ఆత్మ చైతన్యం విత్ ఎన్ అన్రిఫైన్డ్ మైండ్ that is en manasa namunute manasai veda maptavyam through mind only you have to know whenever shastra says how to interpret a refined mind a pure mind a qualified mind a deserved mind is required through that mind alone you can understand correct that is the way of interpretation otherwise um, you cannot get clarity next uh, sloka introduction 90th sloka sarva deheshu atme ek atmaikatvem pratibuddha paramardha tatvasya api apratibuddha deha sambandhad asesha దుఃఖసంబంధం ఇది చేత్ నౌ దెర్ ఈజ్ ఎ పాజిబుల్ డౌట్ రేజ్డ్ బై ఎ పూర్వపక్షి వాట్ ఈజ్ దట్ పాజిబుల్ డౌట్ ద డౌట్ ఈజ్ ఐఎమ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ బడీ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ బాడీ వన్ సాక్షి చైతన్యం వీ హ్యావ్ కన్క్లూడెడ్ ఐఎమ్ వన్ సాక్షి యూ ఆల్సో కెన్ సే Every one of you can say, I am one Sakshi Chaitanyam. I am the Sakshi Chaitanyam in Swamini's body also. I am the Sakshi Chaitanyam even in Ishwara also you can say. I am the Sakshi Chaitanyam in my son body also, daughter body also, grandson body also, granddaughter body also, mother-in-law, father-in-law, every body I am there as Sakshi Chaitanyam. సపోజ్ పూర్వపక్షి ఇస్ ఆస్కింగ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దాట్ సి ఇఫ్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ బాడీ ఐఎమ్ ద విట్నెస్ సార్ క్యాన్ ఐఎమ్ ఐ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ దేర్ దుఃఖం సఫరింగ్ ఆల్సో ఇఫ్ ఐ ఆమ్ దేర్ ఇన్ దేర్ బాడీ ఆల్సో ఐఎమ్ ఐ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ సఫరింగ్ 
their sufferings are not my sufferings then that question comes suppose should not come suppose the person is asking question what is the answer on uh, acharya says no even though you are the sakshi chaitanyam of every body in every body their sufferings cannot uh, afflict you their sufferings cannot afflict you for that uh, mandukya upanishad uh, uh, pramanam is there um, godapada acharya said uh, in mandukya karika advaita advaita prakaranam yathaikasmin ghatakashe rajo dhumadivir yute na sarve samprayujyante tadvat jeevaha sukhadidih they can go and look into that karika third prakaranam that is advaita prakaranam and fifth karika and uh, mundakopanishad also um, gives the answer anashnan avnyo avishaka shite jeevatma bird and paramatma bird and atma is not touched by the karma phalam that is said here now look into the introduction sarva deheshu atma ekatve sati sati saptam suppose in all bodies sarva deheshu means in all bodies suppose <laughs> Uh, okay let me complete that point also suppose ishvara what bhagavan krishna said um, i am in sarva deheshu bhagavan said i am in everybody kshetra gnin chapi maam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata i am there in every kshetram bhagavan said ishvara is there in everyone uh, bhagavan is there in everyone suppose uh, you take uh, bhagwan is also there in everyone that everyone's body everyone's problems bhagwan also i have to get bhagwan will become the big samsari no so bhagwan is not a samsari now thunder and raining is has started now i'll conclude with this today next class we will see Om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम